Hello, today we're going to be making our very own clicker game in Scratch. If you don't know, a clicker game is essentially when you click any object and you gain points by clicking it. There are varying levels of um, difficulty in games and complexity where you can buy clicks that will automatically click for you, for example. Today we're just going to code and create the basics, um, so let's get started. So first of all, we are not going to be clicking the Scratch Cat today, so let's go ahead and delete that sprite and grab our own sprite. Basically, any sprite works for this clicker game, but I'm just going to grab a cake. I feel like a cake looks nice. Um, another thing about the cake is that it actually has two um, different costumes. One costume is with the candles unlit and one costume is the candles lit. So preferably, you want to you'd want to find um, a sprite that has two different costumes so you can have an effect when you click the sprite. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just name this lit candles and unlit candles for easier reference. All right, great. Now let's start coding. So um, before we start coding, let's just create our variables. Obviously, we're gonna need a score variable. And I'm also going to add an effects variable. And I'll explain what this effects variable does later. All right. Um, and now we're actually going to add another um, sprite. And this is just going to be uploaded from your computer. And um, it's actually just a cursor sprite. Um, obviously, we don't need this. We can just use the mouse that's available. But this just makes the game look so much better. You do need to download your own cursor from the internet, though. So I'm gonna set the size of this to 20-ish, and we can start our coding here. All right, so we can add in a one flag clicked, and we just say set um, x and set y. And instead of this, these number values, we can set them to actual variables, and those would be mouse x, mouse y, which is basically the x and y of our mouse. So say I move my um, mouse um, here, this is around 0, 0, so the cursor would basically go to those x and y coordinates, so it would be following um, the mouse the entire time. The last thing is to just drag this into a forever loop so it's always happening, and there we go. Um, it's following the mouse. Alright, great. Now, the only problem here is we can't actually click the cake with our, with our own um, mouse now because in between the mouse and the cake is our cursor pointer, so we actually need to detect if we're clicking the cursor and then if the cursor is touching the cake so let's do that so we can say when this sprite is clicked if and then touching the cake sprite so essentially if we click the sprite if we click it here it wouldn't be touching the cake sprite but if we did it here it would be touching the cake sprite so then we just want to change effects by one and change score by one. Um, drag that in there. And we're gonna make sure score is ticked over here. As you can see, the game is already working. Um, we click the cake, our score increases, but we do want to add effects. So let's get on to the final part, which is coding the cake. So we can say when flag clicked, and we're gonna say set our uh, um, switch costume to unlit candles. So we start with the candles unlit. And we can set our score to zero. And we can also set effects to zero. So this is where we define our variables for the first time. Now we can drag in a forever loop. And inside this forever loop is basically where our effect's gonna be happening. So remember that effects variable I told you about earlier? Well, that's what's going to be controlling this. So every time we click the cake, our effects increases by one. So if we click it 10 times, we know we have to run through those lists of effects 10 times. And in this case, our effects will be the cake will grow larger and the candles will be lit just for a split second. So let's code that. So we can just say if effects is greater than zero, which means we have effects to do, we have been clicked. Um, if x is greater than zero, then we want to switch costume to the lit candles, 
and set our size to 150%. So we change our costume and increase in size a bit. And then we just want to wait a fraction of a second. So I'm just going to choose 0.1 seconds as an arbitrary number. Make sure it's pretty small. You don't want it to be a massive amount. And then we can switch back to default. So switch to unlit candles and 100%. And the final thing we need to do um, to make sure this doesn't happen infinitely is change effects by negative one. So our say our effects was one, we ran through this. Now we no longer have any effects that we need to do. And so this actually should be it. So when we run our game now, marvelous, there we go. Um, the effects are all in place and our score increases nicely. And that's it for the basic clicker game. If you want to learn how to make a beautiful score counter like this, then head over to the link in the description for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.